years? No, he served 18 months. Of course, ah. he was in during a war. Yeah. I mean, we, and he was drafted. Uh, but he served three tours over there. Yeah. And he did his time. He did a good job, you guys. My dad wanted to go to Canada, and my grandfather was a World War II veteran, so. Right. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall for some of those dinner time. I know. So, so Justin, Justin, when we get up here, why don't you come in with me? Okay. So, I knew some people. Because I can guarantee you, my grandpa John didn't want a stateside pansy for a son. My dad wanted to go to Canada. That's what he wanted to do. Well, you know, a lot of kids that I grew up with did defect. They did go to Canada. Because they, and, and to avoid the draft. Yeah. And eventually, they were arrested for that. Oh yeah, they, they, there are consequences. It catches up to them. It does. And a lot of these kids were in trouble with drugs anyway. So not not everybody, but a lot of them were. And there, and of course, this was during the late sixties and early seventies, when all that business was, uh, all that stuff going on. And uh, you know, these kids weren't they weren't happy people doing that. They were well, on the wants run. to be ordered to kill kids and women and children and all that. They were just following orders. They but were. then when they come back, instead of thanking them, they get spit on and called they do. baby killer. And they do. That's what happened when my when my husband, your daddy's dad, got off the medevac planes at, at uh, Madigan General, I mean, in, in uh, Tacoma. He was spit on. He probably uh, landed at Joint Base Lewis McCord. Well, either way, he did not get the welcome he deserved. No, he got spit on and called a baby killer, and he got spit on in his face, and he never recovered from that. He never did. And all he was doing was following orders. He was. And, of course, medics weren't armed. Legally, nope. Nope. they weren't given a firearm to nope. protect themselves. Nope. So he he ripped one off and he killed the person and took his firearm and armed himself with that. Now, can you imagine not to be armed when you're yeah. there's a bounty on yep, you? That's the case. That's gonna be pure terror. It was. And the only horrible. way to get a gun is to find one off of someone. And yes, and to get and kill the enemy and get their gun away from them. And your dad told me some horrendous stories. The things that happened to him. Oh, I hate to tell you this, Jill, buddy soldier. This Okay. 